definitely something about a red lip that's just, just don't. Okay, don't. What's up YouTube? It's your girl Felicia Yam and welcome back to my channel. I am back yet again with another tutorial. If you are not subscribed, please go ahead and do so now. Hit that bell button so you get those notifications to your phone whenever I drop a new video. And if you are back to my channel, thank you guys so much. I truly, truly appreciate your support. Today, I want to show you guys how I conceal my under eye dark circles. I've literally had them since I was a baby. You can see here. I even had them then. I was a child with dark circles, so they are hereditary. I'm out here looking real ratchet right now, missing nails, but <laughs> I had to make this video. I forgot to tell you guys, I made a new purchase today at the mall. I wanted to try a few things from MAC, and what I got was the strobe cream, um, the mini one, the Prep and Prime Fix Setting Spray, which is my favorite, and I don't know, I was just being extra cheap today, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't want to buy the large of everything, so I was like, oh, this is dope, this came with the um, Prep and Prime Lip, also the Prep and Prime Natural Radiance, but this kit is just like so convenient for um, travelers or test some things out, you're not really sure. I really, this will be my first time using the strobe cream, so I definitely wanted to test that out first uh, before I went ahead and spent 35 bucks buying a big one and I didn't like it. So, I'm going to jump right in with my MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Base. Forehead, cheeks. Now I'm going to go in with my MAC Strobe Cream and I'm super excited to see what this does for my skin because I've heard great things about it. I've never personally used it. And I think I put too much on per usual like I always do. But it's all good. I would be lying to you if I said it didn't feel a little bit heavy. It clean up my eyebrow just a little bit like I said it doesn't need too much maintenance because I got them done I can see some of my hairs are starting to grow back but I'm gonna clean it up with the concealer. I also use my Stila uh, Aqua Glow Serum Foundation which I love this foundation it's so close to my complexion and um, it's a little bit on the heavier side so I definitely don't like to use too much Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, start with my contour. I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Stick in Truffle. suffering from hollow dark circles this will be where you want to begin okay so there's gonna be several steps here um, I'm gonna start by laying down um, my first concealer which is gonna be Fenty Pro Concealer in 330 um, and that's what I'm going to use as the first layer to conceal under my eyes when I pat that out I like to stay fairly close to my eye. I kind of wanted to stay somewhat saturated in that dark area. circles or hollowness you tend to want to be a lot lighter under your eyes so I go back 
over my Fenty Pro Concealer with another concealer which is by Kat Von D and this is Lock It Concealer. And this one, I'm not sure what color this is in. Light 16. Okay, so that's the color. I like it to be super light under my eyes. So we're going to lay that down. And um, if you guys are not familiar, my packaging is old, but this is what it looks like. And we're going to take our, our blending sponge and blend that out. things a little bit backwards here I'm going to lay down my uh, blush and then I'm going to go in with my translucent powder I'll be going out of my blush trio pool party this is by Anastasia and the colors are so cute um, but I'm thinking I probably want to work with that middle pink color for a blush let's see how that works and I'm like so scared when it comes to blush because I don't know, like, I've never been the blush type of girl, you know? Like, I've never, that's never really been part of my routine, I won't even lie to you, but, um, lately I've been wanting to get more into it, so I'm still learning how, like, what, what areas of my cheekbones to put it right, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to go under our eyes with a setting powder and so a little bit of story time. I went over to my girlfriend's house, we're just chilling. She pulls out a big ass Mary Kay box and was like, look what I'm about to get myself into. Mind you, she's like, girl, I don't know shit about makeup, but I know you do. So she's like, I'm going to drop something. I'm going to give you a few things and I want you to try it out and see. And initially when I saw what box she pulled out, I was like, girl, no. <laughs> but, you know, we don't know. Like, Mary Kay might have some good things going on. She let me have um, the translucent powder, which I was very excited since I am still learning or still testing out different translucent powders. You guys know which one I cannot stand. Yeah, hate it. I was like, let me see how this Mary Kay setting powder is going to be like. I don't think it tops my beloved Laura Mercier. I don't think nothing is stopping this. I'm going to go ahead and test out this Mary Kay translucent loose powder. I'm not really sure if it's for under eye. We're going to definitely see. And if anything, I can always go back and fix it with the Laura Mercier. We're going to take our blending sponge, which is still a little bit damp. Test this out. I don't know. This might be too white. I'm already seeing it's kind of white. But. And what would be dope? I want to see one side with the Mary Kay and one side with the Laura Mercier and see a side by side matchup. So this is the Laura Mercier. I mean, this is the Mary Kay. So we're going to do right side Mary Kay and then left side Laura Mercier. This is my favorite setting powder. Oh my gosh. We're going to go ahead and use the translucent um, setting powder of Laura Mercier for the left side of my face and see that next to the Mary Kay and see how that matches up. This one definitely goes on a lot more opaque first round. So you can see the Mary Kay next to the, um, the Laura Mercier. The Mary Kay is a lot on the lighter side. Um, Laura Mercier is a lot on the heavier side, which in my favor, I prefer the heavier side translucent powder just because when I go to blend it out, I still want it to be somewhat saturated. So you guys can get an idea of what it looks like neck and neck. Also, 
bake under my cheekbones. Buttercup per usual. Since I'm going to be doing a, a real low-key look today, I'm going to be working out of my Swear By Me palette. Because I don't feel like holding it up. But um, I'm just going to start with this color. And I also have that for you. Then I'm going to go in with this color. And I'll be using a MAC eyeshadow for my lid and this one is called Romp. put on my wings and my lashes okay so we're gonna go ahead and blend out our setting powder remember right side is Mary Kay left side is Laura Mercier and I'm gonna use my um, foundation brush to go ahead and just like sweep under my eyes lightly I can already tell you I've ripped that the Mary Kay is way too it's way too white it doesn't really have um, an undertone to it so, yeah, it's not probably made to be compacted on, especially onto darker skin. And then we're going to move to the left side, and this is going to be the Laura Mercier. That one, it, it definitely, to me, it blends out a lot more evenly. And for a bronzer, I'm going to be working out of my Mia Dora Light Me Up palette. I just got this palette and oh my gosh, the colors are so pigmented and beautiful. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys. And I went ahead and swatched earlier in this one. Down the bridge of my nose and top of my forehead. For lips, I'm going to go ahead and use my Prep and Prime MAC um, Chapstick. If you have like dried or cracked lips, this kind of fills those cracks in so your lipstick blends in nicely. Uh, so I'm using Buxom and this is called Baba Plump Boulder. Boulder? Boulder Go? I can't really see. It's kind of messed up but... I'm going to start by outlining. There's definitely something about a red lip that's just, just don't. Done. So we're going to finish it off with the Prep and Prime Setting Spray by MAC, another one of my favorite go-tos. I like to go under my eyes just a tad bit more after setting powder just because your skin is nice and tacky and I just like lightly dab under my eyes just once more and let that bake. And I already told you guys from the get I like my under eyes to be a lot light because of the hollowness issue and you know darker under eye issue. Alright so like after done baking we're blending that out once more. still see that glow that Mia Dora palette is absolutely beautiful 
All right, guys, so this is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys definitely learned the concept of how I hide my hollow dark circle under eye. It is definitely a challenge. Make sure you do as much research. Anybody that's out there struggling before you go the filler out, I know I'm looking into it, and this is just a temporary fix for now. I thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe, like this video, and definitely stay tuned. Be sure to check out me adore on facebook instagram for all me adore products definitely their highlight palette is bomb i would definitely go check that out see you guys next time bye